Hello my friends, this is Joanne. I am super excited to be coming to you today with my very first Dottie About Flare Challenge Design Team Layout. Yay! Dottie About Flare makes flare buttons and it is owned by Adam Westwood, who you might know as Scrappy Adam. I am going to use these two super cool black and white flare buttons today. All right, and I'm going to do like an opposite thing. I'm going to use all beautiful colors and then pop in some black and white. Let's see how that works out. I got this summer collection from Cartabella in the Echo Park, I think it was Easter warehouse sale or something like that. But look at those colors, super beautiful. All right, and I was thinking about these pretty pink, like salmon, corally, peach colors. I don't know what color these are, but they're beautiful. I'm using a page maps that I use all the time. It's one of my go-to designs. This one right there where the um, asterisk is. I think I've used that page map like three times already. I just love it. I was going to scrap... Um, some photos of myself and my husband but then I came across this photo of my baby cousins isn't it super cute they're twins obviously and it, it looks perfect with this paper doesn't it so I said well we're gonna use that so I glue, glued this piece down already this is a 10 by 7 piece of paper this is a um, four by 12 piece of paper. So let's get this one stuck down. This is a great way to use patterned paper and it's also an awesome way to use up any scraps that you might have left in a collection or a kit. All right, so let's put this here. I just want to make sure that's straight because this is definitely a layout that you want to be straight. This is a 6x8 piece of paper, so you can grab a piece of paper from a pa the 6x8 paper pad or cut it down to 6x8. I used a border punch on the top. And we're going to go ahead and glue that down. I bet you guys just love page maps. They're so awesome. And if you can hear my overhead fan, I'm really sorry, but it is super hot here today. And I don't want to melt while I am making this layout. <laughs> so we're just going to put that there. You can also put this over here if you wanted to, depending on which way your photo, the person in your photo was facing. So remember, you can do it on this or this side. And then I just made a big photo mat. I started off with a four by six piece of white cardstock that's the same as this. I matted it with scraps from cutting this paper. So I put that behind there and then that behind there and we're gonna go ahead and put this down. This is a summer collection. I don't necessarily think that this is a summer photo of my baby cousins, but it's pretty and sometimes you can just use different collections and pull things out of it and it doesn't have to be what it was intended for how's that look that's about good this is not i wanted just the paper to be straight this is not a layout that needs to be symmetrical or perfect or anything like that so let's go ahead and get the photo stuck down like this some ATG. I am putting this in their album. She had a bunch of, my cousin had a bunch of photos out at their first birthday party as the table decor. And I was like, oh, can I have all those? I'll make you an album. She was like, oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So I am putting together a little album for them. Let me see if I like that. I don't like that it's too low I'm gonna do it again let's see if I can do it without the t-square ruler I think it was blocking my view I just want a little teeny white border on the top there 
everything is fixable. Okay, now she cut some flowers out of one of the pattern papers. Aren't they super pretty? They look like watercolor, don't they? This was one that's, you know, at the edge of the paper. I thought it would be cute to tuck in here. You'll never know. I really like that a lot. I'm just going to tuck this in here so you can't even see those words. And then I put some yarn twine in there. I It wasn't cooperating with me, so I put a little mini staple in there. And I just really, I'm using this for the colors. I want one high, one low. I just think it looks good that way. Let's make sure that's where I want it. Tuck that flower back in. Yeah, that's good. Okay, perfect. Let's get some glue. And then I'm just going to put the middle of the bow right in there. And then I'm going to stop touching it. <laughs> So it dries. I'm gonna glue the ends down just so they stay. Okay, don't touch it. Perfect. And I have some pieces of chipboard that I thought would look really cute. Look, it says, you are my sunshine. My dad sang, sang that song to me when I was a little girl. Remember, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Yes, memories. Okay, let me see. I think I want this flower here, but I don't know how I want it. Oh, that doesn't look bad. Okay, let me see. Maybe this way? No, no, no. All right, how did I have it? <laughs> that's good. Maybe if I move it up more away from his face, it'll look better. Okay, that's good. Then, what did I want to do? I have another fussy cup flower. There's a lot of white space here that I need to cover it up because I was originally intending to be a, a base page for uh, a four by six, but it doesn't have to be. We're just going to fill in the gaps and use it. So if I cornered this big old floral here, it'll take up all that space. Now it'll look really pretty too. And then I can put this here okay guys don't worry your eyes are not going weird I changed the photo I couldn't stand it anymore something must have gotten on it at the birthday party so I had to reprint it I just couldn't take it anymore because there was something over her face and she was too cute so I just reprinted it and therefore it came out bigger so I just moved this a little bit and I put this here and to compensate for the extra white space I just put another strip of pattern paper right there and we're going to call that a day. I am also going to use this awesome flare button. I put fun foam underneath it. You can put foam squares. I don't like the foam squares that I have in my stock right now because they just don't work for me. I'm going to slide that in there and then I am going to glue the leaves right to the flare button. Of course, everything does need a moment or two to dry, so just be patient with all of your glue and everything. I think the black and white with the colors looks really cool. Let me show you the flare buttons. Pretty, right? The glare, sorry. There's some thread to put some buttons on here because... I don't know why, but whenever I think of babies, I think of buttons. So let's put some buttons over here. So of course I want to do three because that's what I do. Three things. Hmm. Yeah, that way. What do you think about that? Cute? I like it. Or should we put them here? I think maybe closer. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it that way. Closer like that. Yep. I'm going to put some glue down. We're going to be patient with those two. And I think the buttons being circular go perfect with the circle flare dot. Uh, excuse me, flare buttons. Flare dots. <laughs> Was it confusing them with the enamel dots? Okay, so... There's those three buttons, and again, patience on letting that glue dry. And I'm talking to myself because I don't have any. I think we're almost done. Um, 
I think this is going to be my title, You Are My Sunshine. I don't want to do too much to this because I just don't. I want it to be fresh and clean and neat. I do want to look through these awesome sticker books, though. I think that there is a sentiment sheet in here. Let me look. Yes, right here. So, you are the sweetest. Hello. There's some nice things in here that we can use that aren't necessarily summer related. Um, memories. That's a good one. What do we got in the blue? Nothing. So, well, this one says happy days. Let me get it. I don't want everything to be this peach color. We got to do something in all different colors. So we have three there. Let's see if we can put one right here. I hope this is straight because it's not coming back up because it's on the photo. I'm wondering, let's do... Just do three over here, like centered, just to have a little something over here. Okay, I'm okay with that. Give that a little something over here. It's cute. Let's do some enamel dots. Okay, guys I think we are all done this came out cute I love the pattern paper and I think that the two flare buttons from daddy about flare really pop on this page being a completely different color than everything else that we used here I like it I will put some close-up pictures at the end I hope you enjoyed this and have a fantastic day. Thank you for coming to see me. Bye.